Hey guys, Isabel Freiberger here, and thank you so much for stopping by to watch another episode of my video blog. So, I was inspired to do this one because I recently fractured my pinky toe, and it's just been really annoying to deal with. So, that being said, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some of my self-care routines and recovery routines for when I'm injured and just things that I do to take better care of my body. I know it seems like a little too late for me, but it's to inspire you to take better care of yourself so that you can one, prevent injury, and two, help yourself heal quicker and just feel better about the health and strength of your body. Okay, so number one are painkillers. Sometimes you just need that immediate relief after a really intense week of rehearsals and your muscles are super sore or maybe you twisted your ankle, you know, aggravated your shoulder, sometimes you just need painkillers. Another thing I like to use is Tiger Balm, so muscle creams. Um, I like to use it on super sore muscles, it just gives me that immediate relief, the topical relief when my muscles are just super sore from an intense week of rehearsals. So those are like, you know, some immediate things that you can do to help make your body feel better right away. So that brings me to point number two, which is icing. Sometimes your joints and um, injuries need ice because you need to bring down the swelling, you need to bring down the inflammation um, in order to heal properly. So I have this super awesome ice pack that you can wrap around. Another thing that I do is sometimes I'll fill this bowl a nice big bowl with ice and water and that gives my feet for example a nice little ice bath and so get yourself a bowl and ice it's free <laughs> and super easy all right so number three for me is epsom salt this is everything so all you have to do with this is just make yourself a nice warm bath pour in about a cup of these lovely little salts i like to buy the lavender flavor because it's re flavor <laughs> I promise I don't eat it. Lavender scent <laughs> because it smells really good and it helps relax me as well. Now to me Epsom salts are just almost this like magical fairy dust <laughs> because it has so many uses. Um, it helps relieve stress, it helps relax your muscles, helps ease sore muscles and bruises and sprains. Um, it's good for your skin, it's good for your hair. I mean it's just magical. So number four is Arnica. Uh, you can buy it in a cream or a gel or oil and even these little like dissolvable pills. Um, you can get it at any health food store. Um, it's a really great homeopathic remedy that you can use for sprains, bruises, soreness, muscle soreness. It's even good for acne. Um, it's good for your cartilage, good for arthritis. It's not going to give you that instant relief, but it does really help in the healing process. And it's all natural, so, you know, use it. <laughs> Alright, so number five is foam rolling and self-massage. Now, this is one of my favorites. Um, get yourself one of these. Mine's pretty intense. Um, see, it's like a little pipe. Uh, so it's pretty hard. This one's pretty hard. Some of them are made completely out of foam. and don't have all these ridges and stuff. So foam rolling is really one of my favorite tools for injury prevention as well as injury care. It can help break up scar tissue, it can help you know ease sore muscles, release lactic acid to help you uh, recover faster. Um, it's just great. It's also really good for um, fitness and mobility exercises. Um, flexibility exercises, you can just really use it for a whole bunch of things. So make sure you get on that. Also self-massage is just really good for breaking up sore muscles and, and um, just a really great self-care practice. So you know, spend some time taking care of your body even if it's a little uncomfortable and kind of painful in the moment, it's worth it. Okay, so number six is physical therapy. There are certain injuries that you just can't treat yourself. So make sure you find yourself a good physical therapist that you can go to who gives you exercises to work on to strengthen your injuries. And so make sure you find yourself a good physical therapist that you can go to, that you trust, who can help you get through injuries that you just can't deal with on your own. It's really important. 
Okay, so point number seven can be a little controversial, and that is rest. Who am I to talk, right? Because I'm definitely not taking a break right now, even though my toe is broken. But the thing is, you have to know when you really need to take a break. Even if it's just one day, or two days, or even just an hour, you got to know when to stop. Okay, so for me, unfortunately, I don't have that option right now, but I know in a few weeks I will. And I'm going to take that time and really work on just giving my body a break and time to rest. And that means stopping physical activity, stopping things that are stressing you out. You just have to give your body time to recover. It's really important. So check in with yourself and make sure you're giving your body and your mind the appropriate time off. So that leads me into my next point, point number eight, which is stress relief. It's really important to make sure you have practices in your life where you can relieve stress. Stress is one of the most evil things in the world and it affects you physically. Take a walk, read a book, relax, go to yoga class, meditate, journal. Take time for yourself to really just kind of like clear your mind and get rid of some of that stress in your life, some of that anxiety, that pressure, if you can, even if it's just five minutes a day, give yourself time for you and to really just let go because it's good for you and stress is not. So if you find that you're really super stressed out all the time, see what you can do to change that because it's good for your body. These last two points are really more about prevention and taking care of your body on a daily basis so that you don't get injured. Um, and point number nine is really just about eating healthy and staying hydrated. So that's something I like to take care of on a daily basis. Of course, I'm addicted to coffee. I love coffee, which isn't the most healthy thing. And, you know, I like my sweets from time to time. But in general, making sure that you stay hydrated, drink a lot of water, and eat well. Because that's going to keep your body healthy, and then maybe you won't get injured or have to recover as long from, you know, such an active lifestyle. So, eat healthy and drink a lot of water. And that brings me to my last point, which is fitness and flexibility. And what I do for that really is yoga. Yoga is my superpower tool. If I train and train in yoga on a daily basis, I feel a difference in my body than when I'm not doing that. Now I'm not going to stand here and tell you that I'm the perfect yoga practitioner or the perfect fitness person. The only thing I do every single day is dance. But I will tell you that I feel a difference when I am regularly practicing yoga and regularly exercising outside of dance. Whatever it is that you do for your lifestyle, your active lifestyle, it's important to create a fitness and exercise routine. It really is. So make sure that you, you exercise and you keep your body strong. The stronger your body is, the less you will probably get injured and the faster your recovery times will be. So that's all for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you found my tips useful. And if so, leave me a comment below if you have questions or concerns, disagreements. Just want to say hi, leave me a comment, stop by all of my social media to keep up with my adventures and what I'm doing with me and my injured toe. <laughs> Just kidding. But for real, check me out, see if you like it, if you want to follow along, and I'll see you next time.